destroy thousands of giant human skeletons. In the early 20th century for not debunking the theory of evolution. A ruling by the US Supreme Court forced the Smithsonian Institution, its organizer and research institute in Washington, to release classified papers dating back to the early 20th century proving that the organization was involved in a major historical cover-up of evidence showing that giant human remains estimated to number in the thousands had been discovered across America. It was ordered to be destroyed by high-ranking administrators to protect the prevailing chronology of human evolution at the time. During the case, several Smithsonian whistleblowers admitted to having documents purportedly proving the destruction of tens of thousands of human skeletons measuring between 6 feet and 12 feet in height. Since the early 20th century there has always been a Western media cover-up to make us believe that America was first colonized by Asian peoples migrating across the Bering Strait thousands of years ago when in reality, there are hundreds of thousands of burial mounds all over America that indigenous people claim existed. Long before them, which show traces of a highly developed civilization, a complex use of metal alloys and where the remains of gigantic human skeletons are frequently found but not reported in the media and news outlets. The turning point in the court case was when a 1.3 meter bone stalk was presented as evidence in court of the existence of such gigantic human bones. The evidence came as a blow to the Smithsonian's lawyers because the bone had been stolen from the Smithsonian by a high-ranking curator in the mid-1930s who had kept the bone his entire life and who had confessed on his deathbed in writing to the secret operations of the Smithsonian. Since then, the US Supreme Court has forced the Smithsonian to release its classified information on anything related to destroying evidence of a mound-building culture and items related to human skeletons of larger than usual sizes. The public release of these documents will help archaeologists and historians reevaluate current theories about human evolution and help us increase our understanding of the culture of ancient hillbillies in America and around the world, explains a director Hans Gutenberg. Finally, after more than a century of lies, the truth about our giant ancestors will be revealed to the world. The documents were expected to be announced in 2015. Ancient writings from South America, North America, Europe, and Asia, we find that ancient cultures mention giants in their ancient writings. However, some ancient texts not only mention giants, but indicate that they were real. So, in addition to the huge footprints found all over the world, there is written evidence that also indicates that the existence of these giants was real. A 2000-year-old book called The Book of Giants is what many refer to as the Definitype.